Welcome to the Estuary Works Monitoring Survey Application Video Tutorial Series. This is a six tutorial series and it explains how to use the Estuary Works Monitoring web and field apps. This first tutorial is number one, preparing your device for field survey. The three things we'll cover are downloading field maps and survey one, two, three, logging in and preparing the settings in field maps and survey one, two, three on your device. Before we get started, uh, you'll need to download the Esri Field Maps and Survey123 apps to your phone or tablet. You need to request to be added to the monitoring group at the email address there and log in using your login credentials. Now you've got that going, let's log in and check the settings. So your settings are found in the Field Maps app itself. So the first thing you need to do is get your Esri online username and password and log into the app. Once you've done that, the little uh, cursor is showing you where the Field Maps app is, but you need to go to the little blue person up in the top left and we look at the custom collection settings. So when we click on that, the main thing we're interested in is the photo size to keep the photo sizes manageable. So we're going to select large for that. We then go back to the main menu and we're going to check a couple more things. Uh, those things are that auto sync is on and also that cellular data is on. You need a cellular data connection or Wi-Fi to collect data, but generally it's a cellular connection that you'll need. Okay, the next thing we want to do is check the settings in Survey123. So again, open that app and sign in with ArcGIS Online. What you're going to need to do that again is your Esri Online username and password. Then just click sign in. This time, we're going to go up into the right-hand side of the screen. You can see the apps there. If you don't see those apps, you need to download the surveys and then you'll see them. Uh, and that will allow you to access those apps from field maps, which is essentially what we want to do. You can see that the S3 survey connection, monitoring, monitoring photo points, the near bank channel depths and the repeat surveys are all there. So you'll never access them through survey one, two, three directly. They'll always be accessed through field maps. So you've completed the tutorial number one now. Uh, maybe it's time to give a try to downloading offline maps next.